Hi, you guys. I'm Michelle Branch, and I'm joined here by uh, Patrick Carney, who some of you might know as the drummer from the Black Keys, but I know him as my boyfriend and passionate Jello mold enthusiast. We're on a tour bus, and I, when I get homesick, I don't want to eat at a chain restaurant. I want to eat something that I would make at home. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do some lamb saute. You can actually use like any protein you want with this marinade pretty much. I've tried it all. Do you ever cook on tour? I like to whip up like eight or nine Bud, Bud Lights, Miller Lights. <laughs> you have an obsession with like disgusting Jello molds. No, Where did it's because, that... it became, because for a while when Instagram kind of first came out, every time I looked at the page, it was someone posting a Food photo picture. of their of their meal. So I thought it would be really funny to just like post too much. <laughs> I remember when I first started touring dingy little clubs and you'd get a buyout from the venue and like end up eating pizza every night and it wasn't until I went on tour with the Dixie Chicks where I was opening up for them they had their own caterers on the road and I showed up to catering and there was like crab legs and lobster and we were like what the hell like who eats like this on tour it was insane that's when I started to notice that what everyone was eating totally affected the mood of everybody on tour. It was all inspired by the Dixie Chicks and their fancy catering. This meal is a meal that was often made in my house for birthdays or when all my family would get together. And a lot of my friends who would come over had never had Indonesian food. But they would always leave like, oh my god, that was so delicious. That's my favorite thing. It smells really good. It does smell really good. I wish you guys would smell this. But you know what we're missing is our, our phrase, like bam, or like, if it looks good, eat it. I'm gonna add some of this ketchup meja, which is Indonesian soy sauce. My favorite thing to eat when I was little was coconut rice with scrambled eggs and ketchup meja. Here, I baby. I'm, I'm good. It's really good. Are you lying? No, it's really good. <laughs> Often, if you're like on a summer tour, we uh, we put a Weber grill under our bus and we would just pull it out and pull it into the parking lot and have like cookouts between the other bands on tour, which is really fun. So Pat, I don't know if you want to get in here yeah, about me. Yeah, sure. This is leg of lamb and you just kind of weave it on the skewers. It's kind of like waking, making a wicker basket out of meat. <laughs> it is kind of like making a wicker basket out of meat. You know, lamb's great to serve with um, bah mitzvahs. You're supposed to only turn them once. Well, you see, I'm not thinking I know how to do this better than you. It's that it's the one thing I like to do. I just stole the few on the song track. No, by all means. All right, so we're going to plate this. Um, the meat has rested. Everything's looking and tasting delicious. Do you want some sake? Yeah, well, I have to serve it. For you. I'll serve it for you. It's bad luck if you serve yourself the first glass of sake, I've been told. Come pie. Come pie. It's like... Delicious. That is good. We just made lamb saute with my grandma's peanut sauce and saute recipe, coconut rice, cucumber salad, and uh, we're going to be on tour. So come find us, and if you see our bus on the side of the street, knock on the door, we might be cooking something. Is that our catchphrase? <laughs> we might be cooking something. <laughs>